You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. So I just received a very good question. Okay. So for those of you guys that don't know, I have a course called Entrepreneur Developer. And one of the students that pre-ordered it and is taking the course right now asked me a very, very good question, which was, should I report every income that I get, even if it's, you know, under the table? Meaning it's not a 1099, it's not a W-2, right? It's not some type of income I'm getting from a company from, you know, selling a theme or selling anything, right? It's not being reported. Should I report it? Okay? So I'm going to give you guys a good answer. And the answer is yes. Now, I'm going to tell you this, right? So let's say, for example, your cousin right? Your homeboy, your homegirl, a neighbor, somebody comes to you and says, Hey man, I need a website. I need you to build me a website, man. I, I hear that you know how to build websites. Can you build me a website? And they say, Hey, I got a thousand dollars for you. Now you might say, Oh shoot. I got a thousand dollars. I could keep that to my pocket. Nobody knows about this. This is cash. Nobody needs to know. Okay. At one point I used to think like this and used to think like, Oh shit. A thousand dollars, I could keep that to myself. Hey, I just got this client from Craigslist, I could keep that to myself. Nobody knows about it. Why should I report it? And I'm gonna give you guys a couple of good examples why you should report it. Now, we're gonna start first of all. The number one thing is why, okay? You want to report it because number one, it's illegal to not report it, okay? Now, you might say, damn, nobody's ever gonna find out. But the thing is that if this other person is a good businessman or businesswoman, they're going to give you a 1099, right? And even if they don't give you a 1099, they can still report you as somebody who they gave money to for a service. So automatically, the IRS knows about it. Yeah, <laughs> people do that, okay? So you might think, oh, nobody's going to do that. It's between me and him, right? But if they want to get those deductions and, you know, put it as a, an expense, they're going to have to report it, okay? If they're a good businessman, businesswoman, they're going to report it because that's $1,000 less that is reported on their income. So it's a smart way, right? It's the smart thing to do. So now you're in, in hot water, okay? Believe it or not, they're keeping track of these things, okay? Number two why you should report it. This is one of the biggest things. The more income you're able to report for your own company, meaning if you have an LLC, or even if you don't have an LLC. So let's say, for example, you don't have an LLC right now set up or an S Corp. You could still go and declare this as income that was coming in for, quote unquote, your business, your side hustle. So let's say next year you do report that you had an LLC. Yes, your company got established in, let's say, 2022, but you made that extra $1,000, that extra $2,000, whatever it might be, in 2021, okay? You could still go and backtrack and say, you know what? Even though I didn't have this company uh, founded or established in 20. 21 in 2022 when i did establish it i've been using this business or i've been running this business since 2021 so you have a history of your business okay so when you go in and you start applying for credit cards and you start applying for um, loans and things that's coming your way as a business owner you have a history okay and they could tell by the taxes that you actually go and submit Okay, so if you report it, there's a, you know, there's a history of it. All right. Now, again, another thing that's super important is, you know, retirement. Some people, they might think, oh, I don't need to worry about retirement. I don't need to worry about Social Security. I don't need to worry about whatever it might be. If you guys don't know, when you retire, I don't remember the exact age, if it's 64, 65, or 67, when they keep pushing it. <laughs> It might be 70 by the time you retire, okay? But the way how they give you your, uh, quote-unquote, your Social Security is on how much income 
you have declared over the years, okay? If you never worked or if you never reported any income, don't expect at 65 years old, 67, whatever it might be, 70 years old, to get any type of income or any type of retirement because you didn't report any income your whole life, right? This happens a lot. This happens a lot in, you know, minorities, immigrants. It happens a lot in a lot of immigrants. You know, I'm, I'm an immigrant myself. Um, you know, I was born in the Dominican Republic. I was raised here in, in the United States. And sometimes we work on different type of jobs that, you know, it's cash, hand in hand. Somebody gives you some cash and you're like, hey, I don't got to report this thing. But at the end of the day, when you go and do retire, don't expect any money to come in and, or to say, hey, I'm about to get $2,000, $3,000 for my retirement. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you, you didn't report for half of your 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 whole life you didn't really work a real job for half of your life so expect like nine hundred dollars like you ever gone to like a like you know and this is sad to say but you ever gone to like let's say like a Publix uh supermarket and you see like a 60 70 year old still working bagging bags right um, this is not to knock them or to be like oh we're looking down on them but what happens is they didn't prepare themselves for retirement Right, a lot of times, some people they do it because they're bored at home and they're like, Man, I'm old, I don't got a wife no more, I don't got a husband no more. You know what? I got some extra time, I could go in and do a little time on Publix, bag and bags. But a lot of times, it's not because they want to, it's because they have to, because they're only getting a check for their retirement, which is like $900 a month, and for them to be able to survive with Social Security and you know, Medicaid and a whole bunch of other things. They didn't make enough money for them to have a nice retirement. So keep that in mind. If you don't re if you don't actually report the income that's coming in, you cannot expect any income to be given to you at the end of your life. Okay? That's just how it is. I didn't build the rules. This is something that everybody should know. And this is things that I didn't even know, right? I learned with time. Okay? Like I always tell you guys, I teach you guys from my mistakes and from what I've learned over time that what is the right way of doing things, okay? Another thing, let's say, for example, you want to go in and, and get a house, okay? And let's say you made $20,000 under the books. Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows about it. But now you made uh, $20,000. You have a job, which is $70,000. So in total, you made $90,000 a year, but you only reported your W-2, which was $70,000. So then now when you go in to go and get a house, you can't go in and say, well, I made $90,000. They don't believe you. There needs to be some, some type of paper trail that they could go in and say, okay, this is what this person has been making, you know, consistently, even if it's self-employed or even a combination of self-employed and W-2. If you don't report your income, nobody knows about it. And believe it or not, this country is not based on how much you earn. It's how much credit you have. This is the thing that nobody talks about. Nobody really tells you this in school. People come in and be like, well, if you work hard, kiddo, you're going to be able to survive. You're going to be able to have that beautiful house that you want and this, this and that. Nah, that's all bullshit, bro. <laughs> this country is built on how much income you have made right? What is your credit looking like? Do you pay on time? And if you pay on time and you have a decent, you don't have to be rich. You could live rich without being rich. Okay. Think about this. All right. You could live rich without being rich. It's all about how much income have you made in total at your yearly annual salary or your side income. Right, including that and your side businesses and your LLCs and your escorts, whatever you might have. And then on top of that, it's your credit. Okay, this is things that nobody talks about. I'm talking about it to you guys because I want to give you guys the insight.